Hello, this is Tim Bryce with the National Weather Service in El Paso. This is a special weather briefing for the potential for severe weather and heavy rain. Really starting tonight uh, is the chance for heavy rain and then lasting all the way through Saturday. So what is the deal? What is up? Well, this is the worst case scenario. This is what we're looking at. There is a potential, especially on Thursday and Friday, that we could see thunderstorms, and we call them supercell thunderstorms, that could produce hail up to two inches in diameter, wind gusts to over 60 miles an hour. Along with those storms, we could see some very heavy rain in isolated spots receiving one to three inches, which could lead to some flash flooding. And I, I hate to throw this word out there, but there is an isolated tornado possible, especially on Thursday afternoon and Friday afternoon. So what's causing all of this? Well, we have an upper level storm system dropping down into southern Arizona. In the upper part of the atmosphere, the winds are coming from the southwest. In the lower part of the atmosphere, tonight a cold front's going to move across the area, and that's going to give us some winds from the east and southeast. And as that turning, so you've got southeast winds at the surface, southwest winds aloft, that turning, just like when you spin a top, that turning in the atmosphere can really give us thunderstorms that are very strong, very powerful, and able to produce hail, strong winds, and even tornadoes. So we've got that low sitting there. It's going to provide energy and moisture to fuel our thunderstorms. Here uh, you'll see the low on Friday has drifted a little further to the north, uh, but we still have that shear, both speed shear, where it's faster up above than down below, and also directional shear. Southeast winds near the surface, southwest winds aloft. By Saturday, we think the low is going to be moving off, but we still have a little bit of shear in the atmosphere, so we still can see a potential for a significant weather, especially for the Rio Grande uh, wet east, I should say. So locations east of the Rio Grande River. The Weather Prediction Center is already focusing in on our area as far as the potential for heavy rain. Uh, this is for I believe Thursday afternoon they're seeing the potential for heavy rain across a large portion of southern New Mexico and my guess is that will extend into Friday as well. Here's some rainfall potential estimates. This is one to three days so this is through Saturday morning. You see a couple three inch bullseyes uh, over the higher terrain of the Gila and the Sacramento Mountains but most of us have a potential of seeing anywhere from a half inch to an inch and a half of rain over the next 72 hours. Hopefully we can spread that out throughout uh, uh, the, those 72 hours and it doesn't come all at once and causes problems. Now the rainfall is one of the uncertainties that we're looking at which could affect whether we get uh, severe weather or not. If we get a lot of rain tonight and it, it's widespread that could really dampen and hamper the potential for severe weather on Thursday afternoon and Friday. So we're going to have to see how much rain we get tonight. There's already some showers starting to pop up out there. Uh, also, one of the other uncertainty is how fast that upper low is going to lift out. It's cut off from the flow. Right now, we think that it's going to lift up and out into Colorado and then out into the Midwest uh, by Sunday. But if it gets, if it hangs back a little while, that could keep that threat of severe weather in our forecast um, well into Saturday night uh, for the entire area. Right now it's looking like the best chance for significant weather will be just to the Rio Grande and to the east. Currently we do have a wind advisory in effect and what that is from is that cold front as it slides in tonight starting a little before midnight and then really during the day early morning hours and in the day tomorrow if you live uh, west of the Franklin Mountains, of the Waco Mountains, of the Oregon Mountains in particular, that's where we see our strongest wind gusts and that's where we're expecting some very strong winds uh, early tomorrow and then during the day we're going to see some pretty strong winds across the entire area. Uh, so there's that wind advisory that goes starts at midnight and lasts through most of the day on Thursday from places mainly just to the west of area mountains. Don't be surprised for a possible severe thunderstorm watches and warnings on Thursday and Friday afternoon. We could see some flash flood warnings and I cannot rule out that if we get one of those supercell thunderstorms and it really gets tightened up and really gets spinning that we could see some tornado warnings uh, on especially it's looking like uh, if the, you're looking at the two days Friday is a little bit better as far as the severe weather parameters. So again going over the potential impacts Hail up to two inches will be possible. Uh, wind gusts over 60 miles an hour. 
rainfall amounts of one to three inches will be possible causing localized uh, flooding and like I said I can't rule out a isolated tornado so stay up for the latest information you can check all of our social media channels we're on Facebook Twitter YouTube we've also got a great website go there and you can get all the warnings and see all the latest information so thank you for your time and keep an eye to the weather